Well, hello, welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight, we have your lovely Royal Rogue at the verge of being canceled on Twitter or X, thanks to this tweet that you can see right now. And just to make sure that there is no confusion or misinterpretation or misinformation, I'm going to read it aloud. Megan's back, Michelle Obama's back. No further comment. That's it. No emojis, no witty remark. I'm just quite literally describing what you can see in these two pictures. And somehow, one part of the internet, and let's say a hefty sized part of the internet, had a total meltdown and was demanding that I be canceled from Twitter, demonetized, demonized, all those words that start with them. But Uh, before I explain why that image has stirred such controversy and the ultimate meaning behind my tweet, I want to thank Megan. Seriously, you remember that I used to make videos with just a jacket and shirt, no tie, right? There are plenty of videos of yours truly still making the rounds when I still hadn't upgraded my appearance, thanks to exactly two people, the Duke of Sausages himself, And Neil Sean. I have forgotten which was the formal event that Harry attended with his signature gray suit, no tie. And I will never forget Mr. Sean's words right at the end of his video covering Harry's appearance. And Harry, wear a tie next time. Something just went boom inside my head and I felt almost naked in front of the camera. I had to do something. And that's why the very next day I began to use ties in my videos. But this, this is another quantum leap. This is the next step in the Royal Rogues attire evolution. Because after watching Megan going with that Carolina Herrera trash bag to the movies, I feel ashamed of myself. One more time, I have to rise to the occasion. I must do better. And that's why I present you what I will be wearing the next time I go to the movies. And not only international premieres. No, for, for any movie, I will be fully dressed like this. And to make it sure, to make sure I look cool, I will keep that pose staring to the camera the whole movie. Because it's not only what you wear, but how you wear it. But now let's go back to the controversy, because you must still be wondering why such a cryptic apost. And for now, I will spare you the toxic vitriol that I have received today, because it has been nothing short of heartbreaking. The good thing is that now I have enough material for an upcoming The Royal Rogue Reads Mean Tweets. You remember that the body language guy read mean tweets in that video? It was one of the most fun live streams we have had ever. So I think we need to do one more time with the help of accounts such as Prince Max, Hey, isn't that the fake, fake prince? Well, the fake, fake prince says, what do you mean by projection? You're a former drag queen from Venezuela sitting here at this age spreading lies. So-called body language expert, you're a fraud, sis. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified and join the party. So, I hate to explain jokes, but here it goes. You know that most of my jokes about the articles have to do with the bridges that Megan has burned along the way, which are many. You know that this is old-fashioned toxic narcissism. A friendship lasts only until the person A is no longer useful or B realizes they are being used and so they just sever any ties to said narcissist. Megan and Michelle, which... Oh, by the way, uh, you know my affection for alliterations. So Megan and Michelle sounds great. Sounds, sounds way better than Megan and Serena or uh, Megan and Oprah or uh, Megan and Tyler. Uh, well, Megan and Marcus, hmm, maybe that's why they are still friends. Well, the cracks began to show when the Obamas were not invited to the biracial wedding of the century. Oh, no. How could it be? But at least after Mexit and when the Oprah interview had just shaken the royal world to its core, Michelle had voiced 
sympathy for Meghan. Mrs. Obama was asked about the moment Meghan told Oprah she had experienced racism. As I said before, racism isn't a new construct in this world for people of color, and so it wasn't a complete surprise to hear her feelings and to have them articulated, Mrs. Obama replied. So, if you think this was a bit um, ambiguous, you're not alone, because she said those words for a reason. But they, we would not know the real extent of what was going on between the Oracles and the Obamas until Tom Bowers' revenge in July 2022. That's when we knew that Meghan's attitude had alarmed Michelle after the royal wedding. And just to be clear, we are in 2024 and neither the Harkles or the Obamas have sued Mr. Bauer. Long story short, Meghan wanted to push herself right in front of Michelle's face. Having secured tickets to hear the former first lady make her ins inspirational speech in the Royal Festival Hall on 3rd December 2018, she went backstage afterwards to meet her hero, determined to fashion a special relationship. Meghan had also arranged that they would meet again for dinner at George Clooney's house near Windsor, he continued. And the people who attack me on the internet claim that I am stalking. And I tell them over and over again that they don't know what is stalking. I'm just reading headlines. This pretty much looks like um, forcing yourself on people's faces. But back to the joke, I just wanted to do some kind of contrast. A black friend of Megan with a white dress together with Megan, who is definitely not black, but wearing a black dress. If you have been following me for some time, you know I use my Twitter account as a sketchbook. Some jokes land, some others don't, and I feature the best one on the best ones on my videos. Obviously, my first pick was Serena Williams, who, to our knowledge, she's still friends with Megan. But there was not a good picture of her in the same pose as the Duchess of Sausages. So then I thought, why not Michelle? And, and I seriously wanted to say something witty. But it was late at night, so I just posted that with no further comment and call it a day. But now you're going to ask me, Jesus, are you sure you didn't have any other intentions with this post? And well, many, many of you know that I love to stir the pot, right? But I honestly didn't imagine that this picture was going to expose such disturbing biases and toxicity of my haters. I'm not going to lie, I'm going to use all that for my and your entertainment. But one roguey got it right. Diana of Hope Street, read this as a Rorschach test. Diana, you won the internet today. You deserve a royal cookie. Rorschach test. Those shapeless, tint figures on paper that mean nothing and serve to expose whatever people interpret or see in them. And answers can be quite disturbing. Like here, I see two cute bunnies playing with pink butterflies and a flamenco dancer in the middle. What do you see? Um, don't tell me, please. I, I have enough projection today. Thanks. Thank you. And haters, I know you are watching. The next time you try to take me down, try not to make a fool of yourself. It's embarrassing because sometimes an eggplant It's just that, an eggplant. But my royal rogues, I would love to know what do you think about this in the comments. And remember to download my free 100 body language tips if you want to read anyone like a book. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the royal rogue. And remember, much love and bliss.